I think we're just this close, this close to see the OG bloodline coming together to end the new bloodline. I'm talking about Solo Sakoa, Jacob Fatu, and the uh, uh, Tonga Brothers. Tonga Brothers, right? There's a statement made by Jimmy Uso at the end of SmackDown last night. We need help us. And we really need it. At this point in time, we are all asking ourselves, is this really going to happen? Are we really going to see the OG bloodline once again? Even it can be once, it's fine. Even it can be only at WWE War Games, it's fine. But I just want to see the reunion, the OG bloodline. I'm talking about Jimmy and Jay, Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. Everybody is talking about the bloodline. Everybody is speculating and saying that at WWE War Games, we'll see the OG bloodline against the new bloodline. I'm super excited. I wish and I believe that's going to happen. And I can't wait how things are going to unfold. There's a statement made by Jimmy Uso at the end of SmackDown last night. We need help us. And we really need it. These are the words said by Jimmy Uso to our OTC, to our only tribal chief, our only original tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Said by Jay Uso and say, bro, we need help us. And we really need it. I believe now is the time, man, to see the reunion of the bloodline. How to see Sami Zayn is going to come back. Because since Sami Zayn lost his championship match against Gunther last Monday night, I believe this was the opportunity WWE was trying to show us that Sami Zayn has to go back to the bloodline and finish uh, the storyline or to end the new bloodline. I'm super excited about this, man. I think we're just this close, this close to see the OG bloodline coming together to end the new bloodline. I'm talking about Solo Sakoa, Jacob Fatu and the uh, uh, Tonga Brothers. Tonga Brothers, right? Yeah, Tonga Brothers. If Yeah, yeah, Tonga Brothers. So I'm super excited, man, about this storyline. I know that um, the bloodline storyline has been taking place for, I think, the past four years now, if not five. But I think it's four, and I stand to be corrected about that. I think we're just this close, man. And since now, we've got Jimmy Uso back, and now he is following Roman Reigns, or he's with Roman Reigns. It's just super exciting, man, to see this storyline, how things are going to unfold. I'm not sure about the wise man, Paul Heyman, how he's going to come back to the OG bloodline, but man, it's going to be amazing. And I believe that it's going to be one of those moments where like, uh, it's going to be quiet. It's during the match, it's going to be quiet. Then it's going to be like this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. That would be crazy. The pop is going to be amazing. I think now, it is official to say at WWE War Games would be having Team Roman Reigns, the OG Bloodline, Sami Zayn, Jimmy Uso, and Jay Uso. Against the new Bloodline, Proceed is going to be Team Rock or Team Solo Sakoa. Then it's going to be Jacob Fatu, the Tonga Brothers. I don't know which other superstars they're going to get involved in this storyline. But my concern is we don't need an outsider in this match. We need the Bloodline. We need the family. We don't need Cody Rhodes. I love Cody. I love Cody, but I don't need him at WWE War Games. I love Cody Rhodes with all my heart, but I don't want to see him at WWE War Games. It's fine if you're going to find himself in the new storyline, because now he has to deal with the Kevin Owens. It's fine. Let him deal with Kevin Owens. But I don't want to see Cody Rhodes at WWE War Games, especially with the bloodline involved. Let us go back to The Rock. The Rock is back. And definitely The Rock is not happy with Roman Reigns. Since Roman Reigns was teaming up with our undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes at WWE Bad Blood. He's not here about that. He's saying that uh, there was a lot of pull happening in the past six months since like he was away. So definitely The Rock and the Roman Reigns, the match built up for it. The biggest match of all time. Our biggest match, our biggest rematch of all time. Definitely is going to happen next year, 2025. WrestleMania 41. We'll see The Rock against Roman Reigns. I don't know whether it's going to be a championship match or it's just going to be a single match without any title, but I believe that it's going to be one of the epic matches. Everybody's talking about the match. Yo, I can't believe that it's been years now. Everybody's talking about this match. But I can't wait, man, 
definitely at WWE War Games will be having Team Rock against Team Roman Ring. Whether it's going to be the OG Bloodline or the new Bloodline, it doesn't matter. But one thing I know that at WWE War Games, we will see the Bloodline implode. You can share your perspective there in the comment section. You can just comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for everyone who subscribed. Don't forget our favorite quote. Wrestlers become great, not because of their technique, but because of their passion. My name is TKJ. Get